Today discussion is super keyword for suppose. Super keyword and this keyword. So here observe this example. First I am going through this keyword first. So this keyword. So what is the necessity of this keyword is this is mainly for uh, this always refers to the current object. So what is current object? If you are creating an object to a class, this always refers to the current object. That means uh, this keyword uh, refers to the current object. Current object. So that means by using this keyword, we can call current class variables, current class objects, and also current class constructors. Okay, current class variables and current class object and current class constructors also. Here observe this example for suppose using this keyword. So here I am writing one class for suppose class sample class. Inside this sample class here I am defining one variable. Int x is a variable for suppose. Here I am writing one constructor, default constructor. So constructor name and class name is same. So your sample, sample. And also one more constructor here I am writing parameterized constructor. Sample of in x here I am specifying. So here uh, this dot x equals to x. Here I am calling. This dot x equals to x means uh, your current object variable and instead uh, parameter name both will be same. At that situation, how can you identify the current object instance variable? This dot x here I am calling. And also another method here I am writing wide show method for suppose. Wide show here I am printing system dot out dot print ln of x. Here I am printing x value. So inside this default constructor here I am calling current current object constructor. What is the current class constructor? Sample of uh, int x. That one is the parameter of the constructor or not? Parameter of the constructor. Here I am passing for suppose 35 for suppose. And also I am calling the current current class method. What is that method? This dot show here I am calling. So here observe this one in the class for suppose. Here I am writing test this. Inside this main method here I am writing. Here I am creating an object of sample for suppose. New sample. I am not creating any reference variable. Here reference variable is not required. So if you are creating new sample. Automatically one object is created. So that means one object of sample class I am creating. So actually what is the rule for constructor? Whenever we are creating object, automatically first instance block is executed after that constructor is executed. So here I am creating an object. Automatically the default constructor is invoked. Why? Because here I am not passing any parameters or not. Here I am not passing any parameters. So default constructor is invoked. So in this default constructor, again I am calling the parameterized constructor. Current class parameterized constructor. So current object that means current class parameter is the constructor means in the same object only I am calling the parameter is the constructor by using this keyword. So this open parenthesis and closing parenthesis inside this one here I am passing some parameters. This one is mainly for calling current object parameter is the constructor. So this notation is mainly for calling uh, current object. Parameterized constructor. Okay. Current object parameter. That means inside default constructor again I am calling parameterized constructor. So this 35 value is passed to the x. So that 35 is assigned to this dot x or this dot x. What is this dot x? This dot x means current object instance variable is the x. So here I am assigning the 35 value to the current object instance variable. 
okay current object in the instance variable means actual variable and after that again i am calling here a method i am calling this dot show this dot show means current object show method i am calling here so this always refers to the current object by using this keyword we can call method all methods also current object methods only so this dot show means automatically the show method is called the show method prints the value of x or prints the value of x what is the value of x 35 or we can write uh, this dot x also why because this always refers to the current object so current object uh, instance variable x value is printed here save this program and execute this one test this dot java test this dot java here i am saving and go to the command prompt and go to d drive and also cd rajiv folder here java c space test this dot java for suppose and also after that java space here i am writing test this automatically we are getting 35 or 35 so here the main important point here is by using this keyword we can call current object variables and current object methods and current object constructors why because this always refers to the current object so if you are uh, observe this diagram generally if you are creating an object what happens when object is created object creation means allocating memory for the object so who allocates memory for the object jvm allocates memory for the object java virtual machine so once the memory is allocated whatever the variables and whatever the methods and whatever the constructors defined in the class those variables or methods are available to the object or not those variables and methods are available to the object so like this so these variables and methods are uh, one copy of the variables and one copy of the methods and all are stored in the maintained in the object like this so here this is acting like a reference variable simply what is reference variable previously we are creating an object we are creating a reference variable that reference variable refers to the object or refers to the object here this one also just like a reference variable for example this is a keyboard acting like a reference variable so here this uh, always refers to the current object so by using this keyword you can call any variable you can call any variable or method or constructor okay why because this is acting like a reference variable okay if you are not a, by default this always refers to the current object only like this okay any questions about this keyword here uh, observe these notations here this of this open parenthesis and closing parenthesis 35 so automatically here i am calling the current object constructor or not current object constructor what is the current object constructor parameterized constructor this one is the parameterized constructor so this 35 value is passed to the x so this x 35 value i am assigning to the actual variable x or not actual variable x after that again i am calling show method this dot show means inside show method here i am printing x value so x value is 35 is printed like this okay is it clear any doubts hello hello okay and the next one is super keyword for suppose here observe this one this is about this keyword so this keyword is mainly for calling current class variables current class methods and constructors and the next one is super keyword super keyword so generally super keyword is used in inheritance inheritance <coughs> what is the necessity of super keyword means by using super keyword we can call super class variables super class methods and constructors so by using a super keyword 
we can call super class variables super class variables and super class methods and constructors in subclass super class methods and constructors in subclass by using super keyword we can call super class variables super class methods and super class constructors in subclass so how to call super class variables and super class methods and super class constructors in subclass observe this example for suppose so here i am writing a same class for suppose class here i am writing class 1 for suppose so inside this one class here i am defining one variable int x and also here i am writing one parameterized constructor one of int x here i am writing this dot x equals to x here i am assigning this dot x means uh, the current object instance variable x is the formal parameter that means uh, temporary variable this one is so after that here i am writing uh, one method void show method so this show method is mainly for displaying the x value so here i am writing system dot out dot print ln of so here i am printing the super class value super class x value for suppose and i am writing super class x value is here i am printing x like this here i am creating another class for suppose class 2 and i am writing extends 1 so class 2 extends 1 means here i am deriving a new class called as 2 class i am extending that class from one class or not one class so inside this two class i am writing one parameter one constructor here also i am defining two variables what are the variables int x comma y or if you are confusing you can give some other values for suppose a comma b here i am specifying so here i am writing one parameterized constructor two of here i am passing int x comma int y inside this two class constructor again i am calling a super class constructor what is the super class constructor one class parameterized constructor so here i am passing the x value to the super class and i am assigning b equals to for suppose y i am assigning and also here also i am writing void show method okay in two class also i am writing show method two class specific show method inside this show method here i am printing the two class uh, b value but suppose here observe this one system dot for understanding here i am taking uh, for suppose x comma y only for suppose here observe the uh, you are getting uh, confusion that is the reason i am providing like that here also uh, y is not required actually only x value only i am defining so this dot x equals to x here here also this dot x equals to x only this dot x equals to y sorry y so here i am printing system dot out dot print ln here i am printing the current object x value that means sub um, this one is called as subclass or subclass x value here i am printing subclass x value here i am printing the x so subclass x value is printed after that here i am calling again super class x value so how to call the super class x value system dot out dot print ln here i am printing super class x value so super class x variable we can call it by using super keyword or not super keyword super dot x i am calling automatically super class x value is printed again i am calling super dot show method here i am calling super dot show means super class show method is called 
here i am creating uh, another class test so purpose suppose so here i am creating an object of two class how to create an object of two class two t equals to <coughs> new two here i am creating an object of two class and inside that uh, here i am passing two parameters what are the two parameters 10 comma 20 here i am passing after that here i am calling p dot show method <coughs> so t dot show method automatically here observe this one generally here i am creating two class object so at the time of creating object here i am passing two parameters what are the two parameters 10 comma 20 so automatically two call two class constructor is invoked or not two class constructor is invoked so 10 value is passed to the x and 20 value is passed to the y so 10 is passed to this x and 20 is passed to y again here i am passing here i am calling super class constructor what is super class constructor here i am passing super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis inside this one here i am writing here i am passing some x value so this notation is mainly for calling super class parameterized constructor super class parameterized constructor so what is the super class parameterized constructor here this one is the super class parameterized constructor one of index so automatically this x value x value means 10 here i already passed the x value or not at the time of creating object so 10 and 20 i passed so automatically the 10 is passed to x that x value again i am passing to the super class constructor so this 10 value is directly passed to the this x x contains 10 again i am assigning that x value to the actual instance variable what is the actual instance variable one class instance variable x so this dot x contains 10 and after that here i am writing this dot x equals to y y contains 20 this y value i am assigning to the two class variable x one class variable one class variable is x two class variable is also x here i am defining so for two class variable i am assigning 20 why because here i am passing 10 20 first 10 is passed to the super class constructor and second y y contains 20 that y value i am assigning to the subclass variable what is the subclass variable here x this dot x equals to y so the super class x value contains 20 and sub, uh, sorry super class x value contains 10 and subclass x value contains 20 after that here i am calling t dot show method for suppose after creating object here i am calling t dot show method or t dot show method so here are two class and one class both are contains show method at that situation two class show method is called why because here i am creating an object of two class or not? here i am creating an object of two class so t dot show means here system dot out dot print ln subclass x value i am printing subclass x value what is subclass two class x value so directly i am printing x here i am not using any this keyword for printing the x value why because this is not required here even if you are placing this no problem automatically that one refers to the current object x value only so if you are printing x value what is the output we are getting here 20 that means the subclass x value is 20 we are getting output why because two class x value contains 20 or 20 but suppose if you are calling a super class x value means if you are calling super dot x means what happens automatically super class x value is called what is the super class x value 10 okay so the 10 is printed that means super class x value is 10 again uh, here i am calling super class method super class show method i am calling in the subclass show method this is subclass show method inside that subclass show method again i am calling the super class show method by using super dot show automatically that show method prints the x value or x value so super class x value is 
something 20 is printed. So, here also what is the output? Some super class x value is 20 like that. This is the way to call super class variables and super class methods and super class constructors. This is this one is this notation is mainly for calling super class constructors and this notation is mainly for not this notation here super dot x where I am writing here. So super dot x here I am calling this one is for calling super class variables in subclass and this notation is mainly for calling super class methods. So for suppose interviewer is asking a question what is the difference between a super and this keyword what is the difference between super keyword and this keyword generally this keyword always refers to the current object so by using this keyword we can call current class variables that means current object instance variables and current object instance methods and current object constructors but by using super keyword we can call super class variables, super class methods and super class constructors in subclass. At that situation only we are using super keyword. We can use super keyword in inheritance concept only, in inheritance only. And also one more important point about super keyword is, if you are writing, if you are calling super, super class constructor inside the constructor, that must be a first statement in the constructor. Okay, that must be a first statement. Here also I am writing this one as a first statement or first statement. This is compulsory. Here observe this one, here I am executing this code, test super. Test super dot java for suppose. So here java c space. Test to super dot java and after that java space test to super automatically first subclass x value 20 is printed and uh, super class x value 10 and super class x value is 10 why because inside show method first time printing subclass x value or subclass x value is 20 and super class x value is super class by using super keyword here I am calling super dot x so automatically that one is 10 finally sorry this one also this one is 10 okay super dot show means super class show method prints the x value or not so here also 10 only not 20 okay 10 10 okay like that okay any questions about this example Yeah, here how come the super dot show which you have uh, initialized as 10? Hmm. Uh, how super dot show means actually show, show method I already written in super class or not? The show method. This is super class show method and this one is the subclass show method. So if you are calling super dot show means automatically the show method, so super class show method is called the show method prints x value. But which object x value? One class object x value or not? One class object. Why did you write the show method over there? Yes, directly we can show directly like this. Super dot x also we can call it. But uh, I am discussing how to call uh, show method by using super keyboard. Okay? No, no. What is the use of the show method? Show method is just for displaying the x value only. Here I am writing. So we can directly write. Yeah, so we can directly write the print function, right? Printlen method. So why to write this show again? Oh, directly. Also directly. Here, right? directly, if you are writing uh, printlen method, that is your question. Instead of writing. No. Show method, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you are not writing show method, what is the use of the show? Uh, actually? Generally, if you are writing uh, any method inside a class, why you are writing in a method means in object-oriented programming, if you are performing a specific task, means uh, everything we have to write inside methods only. Okay. Don't uh, in procedure-oriented uh, programming, that approach is different. This object-oriented programming approach is different. But suppose I want no, to. Get... My... Yeah. 
Yes, I understand your question. What is the requirement to write show method? Instead right, of writing, method. yeah, both both acts as the same thing. So then, why to add again a method called show? That is that was my question. Both implement the same. See, print Ellen also implements the output, like what we have printed in the in okay. the command. So we, it it will gives the same output. So then, why to use the show again? Okay, if you are writing this one instead of show, directly, if you are writing like this. There is any use here? System dot out dot tell them like this. If you are writing or suppose there are x value I am printing. So how can you get the x value here? Is there any Simple use? Quotation. Actually, double I am no no double, put the double quotations over there. No no not required here. Double quotations are not required. Just to, why because this one is a variable or not? X is a variable. Ah, in instance, very. No, everything in the everything we have to print in a like you know, we have to give a single quotations to print. So once we will give the single uh, double quotations over there. No, 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 no. Why double quotations are not required actually? If you are writing a simple program, generally, if you are printing the x value directly, x is not a string or not. If you are putting uh, this one within the double quotations, means that is a just a string. X value x is printed. But I am printing the value of uh, that variable or okay? Okay. So at that situation, okay. don't put within this uh, double quotations. Okay. Or after this code, for suppose. Here I am writing one simple example. So class test, for suppose. No, if you execute the previous one, what will the out output will uh, what will be the output? Can you go one back second. to that to show show method code? Test uh, that one is test super class. Okay. So here yeah, one second. Here I'm modifying this yeah, can code. Please, yeah. Can you please execute? No, no. That that would that that is okay. No, nothing will be executed here. There is no show method or not. But here I am calling show method. But here no, I am no, calling. No, no. Just just I need to know what what will be the use of show method. So just for my verification. We are compiled time error. We are getting here. We are getting compiled time error. That is uh, there is no use of that one. Okay. Okay. Compiled time error. Why directly? Directly we are writing printl and statement means uh, we are uh, inside class one. We are directly writing printl and statement. But that one is not printed. Why? Because here I am calling show per dot show method. But show method is not available. And also, even I am not creating this statement inside main method. Okay, this is a separate yeah. class. This is a separate class or not? Class one. Yes. No. Then, then you can we can directly write that like uh, super dot show so that it it will give the value. Right. So why to write the print again again? Yeah. The super dot show means inside a year. But suppose I am writing show method. But suppose. The show method uh, purpose is to display the value of x actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you understand. Show method pur uh, purpose is to display the value of x, but uh, super class x value or sub class x value, super class x value. Okay. This is super class here. This so is. So we need to uh, we need to see the output of sub class x value. So we have to write uh, use a show method in again in a super uh, in a sub class, right? No, not required. Here I am writing uh, show method in sub class, but sub class x value how can you access directly? I am printing x value here or not? directly? I am printing the x value here. I don't so, know. so automatically x value is year twenty. First year after the from this point. Here I am creating object, two class object. So, what is the rule for constructor? Whenever we are creating object, automatically constructor is invoked. Or not? Constructor is invoked. Here I am passing 10, 20. This 10, 20 is passed to the x and y. Okay, 10 is passed to x and 20 is passed to y. So this x value I am distributing, I am forwarding to the super class constructor. What is x value? 10. So here I am calling super class constructor. This is the notation for calling super class constructor. Super of x means here x contains 10. The 10 is passed to the what is the super class constructor here? This one, one of int x. So the 10 is passed to this variable x parameter. 
so again i am passing assigning the text value to the current object x value or not what is the current object one one class x value one class x value me becomes 10 okay so the super class x value is now 10 after that again i am writing here this dot x this dot x means the current class x value that, that means the current what is the current class here two class so the two class x value i am assigning y here y is 20 or not so that y value i am assigning to the current object x value current object means here two object so one class object x value is 20, uh, 10 and two class object x value is 20 okay you understand yeah. this one is a little bit critical actually but uh, you can easily understand this one you know what is uh, super class variable what is subclass variable then only you can understand your main thing is here i am creating an object for suppose <coughs> or otherwise here i am removing confusion for suppose here after this one here i am defining variable a so simply here i am writing uh, <coughs> super of x and this dot a equals to here a equals to y i am passing <coughs> After that, here I am writing current class variable by here I am printing a. Now observe this one. 2t equals to new 2 of 10, 20 you are passing. So automatically, two class object only we are creating or not? Two class object only we are creating. So whenever we are creating object, what happens? This 10, 20 values is passed to these variables or not? Whenever we are creating object, automatically constructor is invoked. Two class constructor is invoked. So 10 is passed to x and 20 is passed to y. Again, I am calling super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis x. That means uh, this one is for uh, calling constructors. Generally, we can call constructors by using this notation. So here I am calling uh, super class parameterized constructor. What is super class? Already existing class. So here I am passing x value. What is x value? 10. So automatically parameterized constructor is called. Super class parameter. This is the super class parameterized constructor. So whatever the x value we are passing here, that means 10, that 10 is passed to this x value. Okay. So here x contains 10. Again, I am assigning that to 10 to the current object x value. What is the current object x value? 10 this dot x means uh, current object x that means one class one object x contains 10 after that this y value what is the y value y value is 20 this 20 is assigned to the variable a here a means that is two class variable or not two class variable so automatically a contains 20 here i am calling a show method for suppose here subclass x value here I am printing uh, here subclass x value means this one is not a subclass what is super class and what is uh, okay subclass variable is a only so if you are printing a automatically a value is directly printed why because inside two class only I am calling a variable so directly 20 is printed if you want to access the super class variable we can call like this super dot x system dot out dot printed in super dot x and also super dot show method I am calling but uh, here I, have, I am calling t dot show method automatically two class show method is called first the show method is called the show method prints the values or not the show method prints the values like that okay hello yeah so here I am calling show method. Actually, we are thinking just like a uh, sequence of uh, programming steps. But uh, in Java, we are writing multiple classes in one program. We are creating one object, uh, one class object in another, another class or another class. Inside main method only, we are creating objects like this. But uh, here directly, if you are writing one class or two class, means this classes contains uh, variables and methods only, not individuals. Uh, System dot out dot printl and statements like that. If you want to perform any activity, that activity we need to specify inside 
method only here i am writing a or uh, some displaying uh, values activity so that is displaying values activity i am writing show method a class contains data members and methods data members are mainly for uh, representing the state of an object and methods are mainly for performing the activity okay like that okay rajiv you also clear any doubts uh no okay, okay. so after that once check that uh, video you can understand clearly okay so for keyword and the next concept is for suppose so so for keyword i dis discussed it. generally if you are writing one program for suppose you are observing this program here i am creating a class sample i am writing program like this so here uh, test uh, ex2 for suppose inside this one here i am creating an object inside this one here i am creating an object what is the object sample s a equals to new sample so if you are creating an object what happens here sample s a equals to new sample means automatically we are creating an object but uh, here there is no default constructor or not here i am not writing anything just empty i am writing so if you are creating an object here sa is a reference variable refers to the sample object what happens internally this one is a this one calls one constructor but uh, i am not defining any constructor what happens this program is executed uh, properly but it is not displaying any output why because just i am creating an object only but internally what happens means the java compiler creates one constructor inside this one okay if you are writing the program like this internally the java compiler converts this code to like this okay the java compiler generated code is generated code for that class is so the class will be like this class sample I mean, uh, I am not writing anything, but Java compiler generates uh, one constructor. What is the constructor name? Sample. Inside that constructor, again I am calling uh, that one is calling super class constructor. Like this. So super class constructor means inside that sample constructor again uh, the Java compiler calls super class constructor. Super class constructor means what is the super class for sample class? the super class for all classes in java is the object class or not the super class for all classes in java is object class so as a programmer i am writing uh, just class sample but uh, at the time of creating object uh, here i am not passing any parameters means automatically the default constructor is called but i am not writing default constructor here so at that situation internally the java compiler generates one default constructor like this okay generates one default constructor for, for suppose if you are writing default constructor with your own for suppose i am not uh, i am writing uh, the default constructor like this so for suppose sample here i am writing default constructor explicitly for suppose so system dot out dot printl System dot out dot println here default constructor I am writing automatically if you are creating an object here new sample means automatically if you are creating an object so the explicitly written constructor is executed or not here I am writing explicitly one default constructor so that constructor is executed if you are creating an object without parameters but if you are not creating a that means if you are not creating a default constructor means internally the java compiler only generates that default constructor so you observe this document here for better understanding i already forwarded the oops document to your mail id in that document 
constructors concept so here control f constructors so here observe this one yes this one only okay here in this document so here observe this point for suppose so prototype of default constructor what is default constructor it is always no argument constructor it is always no argument constructor that means uh, there is no need we are not passing any parameters to the constructor and also the access modifier of the default constructor is same as the class modifier this is very very important point but suppose if you are specifying if you are not specifying any access modifier so automatically by default that one is taking default access modifier here but suppose if you are specifying public automatically the java compiler generates one default constructor public constructor even if you are not writing any default constructor so this is the access modifier so if you are specifying uh, the access modifier automatically the constructor also is taking the same access modifier only okay for suppose if you are not specifying access any access modifier by defaultly that one is taking default access modifier default <coughs> default means by defaultly that one is taking as a default access modifier that means package level scope that one is having okay so like that here that is the point here the access modifier of the, of the default constructor is same as the class modifier so this rule is uh, applicable for public and default okay only for public and default variables only that rule is applicable so the default constructor contains only one line that one is super constructor that means what is uh, what is super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis calling super class constructor that one is for calling super class constructor so here observe this code below code the programmer code and compiler generated code if your programmer is writing class test just we are writing class test but internally compiler generates one constructor or not one constructor even if you are not writing any constructor so the compiler generates one constructor inside that constructor the first line is calling super class constructor the statement calls super class constructor but uh, here observe this one our class is not extending any class or not our class uh, test is not extending any other class but uh, here i am writing super class uh, here i am calling super class constructor means which class constructor will be executed here actually object is the super class of all classes in java by defaultly object is the super class of all classes in java so the object class constructor is executed like that and also here one more important point here is at the time of defining class i am not specifying any modifier here public or default here i am not specifying public modifier so at that situation what happens if you are not specifying any modifier by defaultly that one is taking as default access modifier okay default access only so here also for that constructor also default access specifier is automatically taken by the taken automatically taken so this constructor is generated by the compiler or not compiler i am not writing constructor explicitly like this here observe this second uh, example for suppose in this second example also here i am writing public class test i am writing the code like this but the compiler internally generates one constructor or not one constructor public test constructor why public is placed before the constructor name here at the time of defining class here i am specifying public so automatically uh, the constructor default constructor also public is specified and also for suppose here observe this one class test and here i am writing a void test 
so what is the meaning of this one if you are specifying y test actually this one is not a correct procedure why because this one is a constructor constructor does not have written types okay if you are writing one constructor constructor does not have written types even void also it is not accepted so if you are specifying void okay java compiler we are uh, is not generating any error why because java compiler just treating this one as a method only okay for suppose in uh, interviews this type of questions that people are asking for suppose class test inside that one void test so void test means uh, test is a constructor but uh, in, before the test uh, constructor we are writing void so the java compiler treats that one as a method not constructor method normal method only so at that situation automatically the java compiler gen generates the code like this what is the code generated by the java compiler test open parenthesis and closing parenthesis one constructor is created inside that constructor again uh, super class constructor is called and test method is written separately or separately so this test method is treated uh, this test uh, why test is treated as a method not a constructor like that okay if you are understanding madam these topics you are understanding yeah okay if you are getting any doubts ask me why because uh, say at the same time only you can uh, so here i am writing one parameterized constructor for suppose not default constructor here i am writing one parameterized constructor means what happens internally here i am not writing any super call super call means here i am not calling any super class constructor just i am writing one parameterized constructor but internally compiler generates a super call or not super call super constructor call this one is automatically the compiler places super constructor call and also here another scenario here i am writing like this for suppose i am writing the program code like this class test inside the test constructor and inside i am calling super class constructor at that situation the compiler also places the same code only why because already test class constructor is already written inside that super call is also already written so automatically the same code only generated by the compiler uh, uh, some extra method is not taken that means uh, some extra uh, constructor is not generated the same code only compiler also is taken like this here observe this one class test here i am writing one constructor inside that constructor i am writing this keyword so that means uh, this means here i am calling the current object constructor this one is parameterized constructor actually test of int i means inside this uh, parameterized constructor again i am calling current object default constructor why because here i am not passing any parameters this open parenthesis and closing parenthesis
Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, we can hear you now. Okay, okay. You are on mute or? No, uh, no, 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 no. Suddenly something will happen. happen. Okay. okay, okay. Some technical issue. Oh. So here also observe this one. Here I am writing test of int i per suppose. This one is parameterized constructor. So inside this parameterized constructor here I am calling default constructor or default constructor. So this open parenthesis and closing parenthesis represents calling current class default constructor. If you are passing parameters here, automatically it calls parameterized constructor but I am not passing parameters. So here I am calling the default constructor. Okay, like that. So if you are writing like this automatically, so default constructor is called, but inside the default constructor it generates one super call or not. Super class constructor call. Okay. So the main thing here is if you are writing any class internally, it generates one default constructor. Internally, it generates one default constructor, Java compiler automatically. So even if you are writing a class like this, here I am calling constructor or not? New sample. New is a keyword which is mainly for allocating memory for the object dynamically. And sample, what is this one? Sample open parenthesis and closing parenthesis means this is a constructor. So what type of constructor? Default constructor. So that means at the time of creating object, I am calling default constructor. But here uh, I am not writing any default constructor. Even if you are not writing any default constructor, the compiler automatically generates one default constructor or not? The compiler automatically generates one default constructor. Okay, like that. But uh, the default constructor, uh, the compiler generated code will be like this. Compiler generated code. So the compiler generates the constructor, default constructor, but inside this constructor again that one calls super call. That means uh, super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis means super class default constructor is invoked. What is super class default constructor? Object class is the super class of sample class. In Java, for all classes, what is the super class? Object class. So this one is generated automatically. That is the point. And the next one is supervises this I discussed already. What is the necessity of supervises this this keyword? So here observe this one. Super keyword and this keyword, these two constructor calls. Super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis means this one is a constructor call or not? Super class constructor call. This one is current object constructor call. These two calls we should use in first line only. We should use only in the first line of constructor. Only one but not both. That means at a time we cannot use both uh, constructors, both uh, constructor calls. At a time we can use only either super or this only. And also we are calling super class constructor or current object constructor only we can make calls only inside the constructor only only inside constructor only don't call inside methods okay and calling another constructor of the same class this keyword here observe this one this keyword is mainly for calling another construct constructor of same class or not? same class why because this keyword always refers to the current object so if you are calling any constructor so automatically calling another constructor of same class but what is super keyword calling calling super class constructor super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis means that one calls a super class constructor not current class constructor like this what is the difference between super this one is a super open parenthesis and closing parenthesis this open parenthesis and closing parenthesis and so for this this so for these are keywords but but these two are constructor calls okay these two are constructor calls but these two are keywords so for is a keyword and this is a keyword so here observe this point these are two these are constructor calls 
but these are keywords which can be used to call parent class and current class instance members instance members means both instance variables and methods members means members of a class means we can call both variables and methods instance variables and instance methods by using the super keyword and this keyword and also the super constructor call and this constructor call always to be written inside constructor only inside constructors only okay don't write uh, inside methods here uh, this super keyword and this keyword we can use anywhere except static area except static area means inside static methods we cannot use super keywords okay inside uh, static methods and static blocks we cannot uh, use super keyword to access the data members and methods okay this is about uh, the exactly differences between the uh, super constructor call and super keyword this constructor call and this keyword okay like this and then next one is so constructors in inheritance for suppose here observe this example what is the next topic today last topic constructors in inheritance here i am writing one program for suppose so here i am writing one class here i am writing class one for suppose what is the topic name what is the role of constructors in inheritance in inheritance so here i am writing class 1 for suppose here i am writing one default constructor so here i am printing just a message system dot out dot print ln what is the message here i am displaying default constructor and also here i am writing another class for suppose class 2 so class 2 here i am writing extends 1 so inside this class 2 also here i am writing one default constructor for suppose 2 here also i am printing system dot out dot print here this one is parameterized constructor Here I am printing, I'm sorry, not parameter is a constructor. This one is a, uh, this one is super class constructor, not default. This one is super class constructor. Here I am printing, and this one is subclass constructor. But both are default constructors only. This one is subclass constructor. So here I am creating a test class, test example three, for suppose. Here I am creating an object of two class how to create an object simply here i am calling new to i am not creating any reference variable why because uh, the two class does not contain any method for calling methods only for calling variables and for calling methods only we are writing we are creating a reference variable so that is the reason here i am just creating an object what happens if you are creating an object automatically constructor is invoked so here uh, two class constructor is invoked what is the two class constructor here this one is the two class constructor generally you are thinking like that why because you are creating an object to the two class automatically two class constructor is invoked but uh, in the case of default constructor even if you are creating two class object first one class constructor is executed after that only two class constructor is executed why if you are executing this example first it prints the message super class constructor after that only it prints a message subclass constructor so what is the meaning of that one here observe this one save this program test ex3.java test ex3.java here i am compiling and executing this program java c space test ex3 
dot java so java space and i'm writing test ex3 so which one is first executed super class constructor is first executed or actually i am creating an object to the two class generally in general scenario which one is first executed two class is executed that means subclass constructor is executed but uh, in the case of inheritance if you are creating a super class constructor and so subclass constructor automatically first super class constructor is executed after that only subclass constructor is executed why because what is inheritance generally simply if your interviewer is asking uh, a question what is inheritance means your answer is generally deriving a new class from already existing class is called as inheritance okay that one is also correct answer only but uh, uh, the experienced answer is generally the derived class object contains a copy of base class object simply inheritance means the derived class object contains a copy of base class object for example here observe this diagram the paint diagram so the derived class object here i am creating for suppose here this is one object so this is derived class object what is the derived class here two class is the derived class so the two class and internally contains one class object so this one is two class internally contains one class object so even if you are creating two class object first one class object is created or not that means first one class object is created after that only two class object is created but i am uh, programmatically i am writing uh, i am creating an object to two class only here also new two i am writing so if you are writing new two automatically two class object is created automatically inside two class object automatically again one class object uh, sorry first one class object is created after that only two class object is created so one class constructor is invoked after that two class constructor is invoked so that is the reason we are getting output first super class constructor is called after that only subclass constructor is called like this so first one class constructor is executed so it prints super class constructor after that only subclass constructor is called any questions madam here no sir okay and then next in the case of parameterized constructors for suppose in the case of parameterized constructors also you are observe this one here i am passing parameters for suppose here i am passing int x here also i am defining one variable int x so here i am assigning initializing instance variable so this dot x equals to x so same way here i am for displaying x value here i am writing one show method for suppose not only show method we can write display method like that any name so if you are printing if you are writing show method means here i am printing the x value here so what is the x value here i am writing system dot out dot print ln of here x i am printing so here i am calling here i am creating an object new to at the time of creating object here i am passing the value 10 and also directly here i am calling by using that object here i am calling a show method for suppose directly new to of 10 dot show so new to of 10 means automatically actually what happens this two constructor is called actually but uh, what happens means in the case of uh, inheritance first parent class constructor is executed parent class default constructor is executed even if you are passing parameters okay even if i am creating an object to the two class even if i am passing parameters first parent class one class uh, parent class constructor is executed default constructor after that only the child class uh, the particular object is constructor is executed so automatically first uh, super class constructor this message is printed after that only the 10 is passed to x 
that x value I am assigning to the x value or current object x value, this dot x. After that I am calling show method. But suppose you can create a, like this also. So generally reference. So test t equals to mu2 of 10. After directly, if you are calling a method means t dot show here I am calling. So just execute this example first what is the, which one is first executed. First super class constructor is executed. So one error I am getting. Sorry not test here. Two. Two class object I am creating. Two class object. Save this one. So test ex3 dot java. So first which, which one is called super class constructor. And after that here 10 is printed. So first it calls to super class constructor means even if I am creating an object to the two class two class first it calls one class default constructor after that only two class object constructor is called. But suppose if you are not defining one class constructor what happens if you are not defining one class constructor by default the compiler generates one constructor or not? the compiler generates one constructor. So that constructor is executed by automatically after that only these two class constructor is executed. Okay. This is about uh, constructors in inheritance. Okay. Is it clear? Any questions? No. Okay. Just go through this video and uh, just practice the code and also refer the document also once. Okay, so at what time you are flexible on Saturday?